Good evening. Tonight we're going to glue up uh, the bridge onto this L00 style acoustic guitar using hot high glue. Um, you'll see I've got my clamp all set up, waiting. It's set the right thickness so I can just put everything together. Uh, I've got a bridge call inside taped up so that it won't fall out of the way. I've got my Stumac bridge clamping call. I've got some packing tape put over the pads here because I don't want the, the cork to stick to the high glue that gets pushed up through the two bridge pin holes. And on the floor, um, just over here, I've got my heat gun set up. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna, normally, if this was a lacquer guitar or a poly guitar, I would heat the bridge area. Um, I don't really wanna do this on this French polish guitar because shellac is really, really susceptible to too much heat. I don't wanna screw up the finish. So I'm gonna just heat the bridge up really, really hot. My glue's a little over 150 F. High glue needs to be 140 and um, you gotta have it on the guitar before it gets down to 90 degrees or it will gel and then it won't stick. So I'm gonna move really quickly, get the bridge heated up, get the glue onto the bridge and then get the bridge onto the guitar and clamped. The glue I'm using is um, the Lee Valley High Glue. It's 260 bloom strength. There's different ways to, uh, there's different grades of high glue, sorry. Um, the most common for guitar building is 192, um, but they didn't have any of that, so I went with the 260. So it's going to dry and um, and gel up a little quicker than the 192, so we'll have to move um, quick enough. We'll have, I don't know, probably 30 seconds from when I start putting glue on to when the uh, clamps go on. So stay tuned. We'll see how this goes. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too long. Um, I'm gonna wait for the, the glue to dry up a little bit um, till it, it gets a little thicker than honey. And then I can just, I can clean it off really easy. Um, and I'll pull the tape up at the same time. I put two layers of masking tape down 
um, so I could locate where the bridge should go. So it makes a little dam and the bridge fits right in there. You can feel it lock in even with the glue on there. Um, the first layer I put down, I uh, put the tape on my shirt just to pick up a little bit of lint so that the tape won't have enough stickiness to damage the finish of the guitar when I go to pull it off. And uh, so yeah, that's it. That's uh, how quick you gotta move when you're gluing a bridge with high glue. And uh, thanks for watching. If you wanna see more progress on these guitars and other repairs and builds I have in the future, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.